Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you whether or not Apple's 5GB of free iCloud storage, whether it's worth it or not. So firstly, let's just see how much storage we can save on our device using iCloud. So if I go to my settings, iCloud, you can see I have my 5 gigs of free storage and I can also buy more storage if I want to. So I don't have a lot of photos on my device, however if somebody had several gigabytes of files, they could see that by going in into the manage storage section. In this case, mine take up 35 megabytes. So if I were to back them up on iCloud, I could then delete them on the device and have 35 more megabytes of storage for music or whatever. And to back it up, you just go down to backup and then you can click on backup now. And then you can go in and delete all of the things that you backed up. There are several other solutions other than iCloud for backing your files up with your device. There is Dropbox, which we have most heard of, but with Dropbox you only get 2GB of free storage, although it is very easy to use. There's also Google Drive, which gives you a 15GB of free storage, which is quite a bit more, but if you don't have a Gmail account, it's not really useful because you do have to have a Gmail account to utilize this service. And then there's SkyDrive. This is a cloud storage through Microsoft that offers you 7 gigs of free space and 10 if you're a student. The downside to this is the interface isn't very user friendly, so it's going to be a lot harder to actually back your stuff up. And then there's Box, which is most popular among business people. Upon signing up, you'll get 10 gigabytes of free storage and it's very easy to use. The downside to this is you can only upload files with a maximum size of 250 megabytes and it can be expensive to get more space. That's it for this video. As you've seen, there are many storage methods out there, but Apple's free five gigabytes that's integrated into its system is pretty nice and a very generous offer.